Welcome to ETF Explained, where we dive deeper into ETFs, sectors, and trends to explain the bigger picture. Let's take a look at carbon credits and what they have to do with ETFs. A new carbon credit ETF has just launched. CARB, the Horizons Carbon Credits ETF, began trading on Toronto Stock Exchange. CARB seeks to replicate, to the extent possible and net of expenses, the performance of an index that seeks to provide exposure to investments in cap-and-trade carbon allowances. Currently, CARB seeks to replicate the performance of the Horizons Carbon Credits Rolling Futures Index, excess return, net of expenses. CARB's underlying index will hold a notional position of carbon credit futures. Carbon credits are increasingly becoming an important financial instrument for governments seeking to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from businesses that historically use a high level of carbon emissions in their operations. What exactly are carbon credits? Simply put, they're permits issued by government agencies that allow their holder to emit a certain amount of carbon or other greenhouse gases. Carbon credits are designed to ensure participants' emissions are within their limits. Otherwise, fines can be issued and those costs, paid into a system, can be used to discourage further emissions and to finance initiatives to fight climate change. For example, a company that holds one carbon credit may be allowed to emit one ton of carbon dioxide or equivalent greenhouse gases. These emissions are typically the result of business operations like manufacturing or power generation. Carbon credits are accessible through a market framework administered by a regulatory body like the European Union's Emissions Trading System, EU ETS, or California's Cap and Trade Program. Companies and organizations, including industrial installations, energy generation, manufacturers, and more within the geographic market that emit carbon, are required to participate in the system in order to conduct business. In these marketplaces, there is a set limit to the amount of emissions allowed. There is also a limit on how many carbon credits are available to be received, bought, sold, and exchanged among market participants, which creates a financial value for carbon credits. So do carbon credits actually help fight climate change? By placing a cost on carbon, emitters have a financial motivation to reduce their overall carbon emissions. If a company emits more carbon than permitted by their carbon credit holdings, they could face serious financial penalties. Conversely, a company that reduces emissions and emits less than allowed by their carbon credits can sell or transfer their remaining credits to another emitter for a financial benefit. The EU emissions trading system has reduced emissions by about 35% between 2005 and 2019. A new EU plan introduced in 2020 aims to further reduce emissions to 55% by 2030. Following the launch of the emissions trading system, the EU has been reducing the allocation of free carbon credits to participants. In turn, participants have to purchase additional carbon credit allowances to offset any emissions above their allocation. How can an ETF like CARB offer exposure to carbon credits? Let's take a look. CARB's underlying index will primarily track the performance of the European Union Carbon Credit Allowance Futures, or EUA Futures, which is based on physical European Union allowance traded on the EU ETS. That means that CARB will offer exposure to carbon credits that EU ETS participants are looking to purchase to offset their emissions through the use of futures contracts. Each EUA permits the holder to emit one ton of carbon dioxide or the equivalent amount of other greenhouse gases. Remember how we highlighted that the EU was decreasing the total number of carbon credits allocated each year? That means total emissions are ensured to fall since the cap decreases every year. It also means the demand for carbon credits is likely to increase as they become more scarce and valuable for participants. According to Refinitiv, the EU ETS accounted for 90% of the global value of traded markets for carbon dioxide in 2021, with a global value of 683 billion euros. So why should you consider investing in CARB? Being long carbon credits can provide several key benefits to investors, including potential diversification benefits in the form of non-correlated exposure to traditional asset classes. A global trend towards regulating carbon emissions will increase carbon credit usage. As well, the anticipated rising demand for carbon credits as caps reduce will potentially increase their value. CARB is held in Horizon's innovative corporate class ETF structure, so all returns from CARB are anticipated to be taxed as capital gains as opposed to income from derivatives. We believe this asset class can provide a powerful investment opportunity for Canadian investors. To learn more about the Horizon's Carbon Credits ETF, please visit horizonsetfs.com slash CARB.